Hey everyone, Rick Nielsen, thewebtrainer.com. How are you today? I'm excited because I found a brand new plugin. And it's not really technically not brand new, but I found a plugin that I've been testing for the last month or so, and I really like it. And it's called Affiliate Link Cloaking Plugin. And uh, let me explain a little bit about what that is. Um, cloaking a link, an affiliate link. Basically what you're doing is, um, if you're doing any affiliate marketing or you're trying to track links that you're putting out in social media, what you're doing is sometimes you get these big, huge, long URLs that are really kind of ugly and they have your affiliate URL in there or your tracking code inside there. And so what happens is, is you start putting that out on the internet and people look at those links like, well, where the heck is that going to? And you know, it just, it just kind of looks funny. The other thing too is that uh, when you're putting out affiliate links or different links to uh, other things, there are certain software and things that people can do on the internet to hijack your affiliate links so that you do all the work, they end up hijacking your link, putting their affiliate link in it or their affiliate ID, and then they end up getting the commission and you don't. So what link cloaking actually is, it's taking and masking the URL to be something that looks a little bit more user friendly. And that's exactly what like the service like URL shortening services do like bit.ly. That's a very popular one. You see a lot of that on Twitter and some of the other social media. And all that's really technically doing is cloaking that link. It's taking it from this big down to this big, um, especially on Twitter, it's saving characters. But it also gives you a chance to track your um, different marketing that you're doing. You can create different links for different things. Now, inside of WordPress, there's lots of services, there's lots of plugins, I should say, that you can use inside of WordPress. I've tried a bunch of them. Some of them are eh, okay. Um, some of them are, you know, just some of them just don't work real well. And you can do it however you want, but this is a simple, quick, easy way of being able to do it right inside of WordPress so you don't have to go out to an outside service. Now, a word of caution with doing using any type of cloaking software, whether it's inside of WordPress or inside of whatever you're using or third-party service. If you think you're going to become a very big internet marketer and have lots of affiliate programs putting out lots of links, make sure you pick some type of reputable service or service that seems like it'll be around for a while. Simply because there was a lot of URL shortening services Year, a few years ago and they just went out of business so people were using them and then they were they had their affiliate links all over the damn internet and then when they shut down uh, all your links are dead so just but this particular one that I'm using is is more for people that just have a few links they want to throw out there it's right inside your WordPress site you can look at it monitor it it shows you your links and so it's real real simple to use so I'm gonna go through and show you how to do it so we're gonna come over here to our plugins tab and install plugins. Then we're going to click add new and I'm going to go grab this. It's called affiliate link cloaking. Put that in and search for plugins and it has it right here. It's this one right here uh, as of this um, recording. It's version 1.3.2. Has quite a few stars on it. Uh, we'll give you the details on it. And it looks like it's uh, it was uploaded. It was done 528 days ago. 3.1 or 3.0 and higher compatible. It's been downloaded 26,000 times. Now, granted, it hasn't been updated in over a year and a half. However, link cloaking software is not very complicated. It's a very simple plugin, so it doesn't require lots of changes. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and install, and we're going to say yes, yes. Activate the plugin, and boom, there it is. It's installed. So what you end up with is over here to the side, you have a nice little menu item called Link Cloaking. So then you come over and click this link, the Link Cloaking. And as you can see, I've already stuck one in there. But it's a very simple interface. Uh, it gives you the link title, the short link, the affiliate link, and how many times it's been hit on. Hit on, that's funny. Uh, unique visitors and the date created. So I'm going to just go ahead here and show you how I create a new link. I'm going to go ahead and delete this one and show you how I did it. So it's really, really simple. What you do is you click Add New Link. And see, what it does is it appends your domain that you're on with your WordPress site so that the links look like they're coming from your site. So what it's doing is it's saying the webtrainerdemo.com slash, what do I want to call this? Well, I'm going to call this Backup WordPress. 
okay? That's what I want my link to look like. So when I'm spreading it out on the internet, that's what I want it to look like. Then I'm gonna go over to my affiliate program or whatever link if you're doing a Facebook uh, marketing or if you're doing any, any link you want to just mask, you put that in there. So I'm gonna use this particular affiliate link. And as you can see, that bad boy is really long. It's from iThemes, member, PHP, R, blah, blah. So it just kind of drags itself on. It's not a very good looking URL. And a lot of times people get spooked. If you're sending them information and it says, I'm coming from the web trainer or whatever site it is, and then they see this long, nasty ass URL that doesn't look anything like yours, they're like, eh, I probably won't click on it because it could be a phishing type uh, link. So what you want to do is you use the WordPress backup or whatever you do here. And then here I give it a title here just so that in my dashboard I know what one it is. And you click add link. So now what you have is you have the short link and this is the link here that you're gonna spread around the internet or put on a website or whatever you're going to do. This is the actual link it goes to and this tells you how many hits today per month, unique visitors, and auto short link, which means it just changed this right here. So that's really about it. So now what you can do is you can come here and you can view stats. They got nice little graphs here. I'm going to show you how this works. So I'm going to open up a new tab, and I'm going to take and I'm going to add that to the browser, and I'm going to hit update, and it's going to take me to the affiliate page that I want to send people to. Now when I come over here, don't make me look bad. Boom, there it is right there. It's going to give you a nice little graph and tell you, you know, how many hits that you had. And then when you go back to your dashboard, see it shows you that you had one hit today, one for this month, and then unique visitors. So that's how this particular one works. Now, another trick is what you might want to do. Let's say you're going to do a campaign. So let's say I'm doing a campaign on Backup Buddy and I want to do one on Facebook. So I want a link that goes out to Facebook. So what I would do is I would create a new link and I would call it Backup FB. Then I would insert the same affiliate. Whoops, no, I don't want that link. I want the uh, original one here. The goose to Backup Buddy. So you'd put that one in and then you would put this in go Backup Buddy Facebook. And if I spelled it right, that would be much better. So then I add the link. So now I can take this particular link here and I can spread that around on Facebook. So then when I look at my stats, I can say, hey, this came from Facebook or this was my Twitter link or this was my LinkedIn link or wherever you're doing it. It's just a simple way of you keeping track of the links that you're spreading around and it's all built right into your WordPress site. So it's a great plugin. It works really well. I've been using it for over a month. It seems to work better than most of the other ones that I have used. So go ahead, download it, give it a try. Just put a comment down here. If you have any questions, I'll be glad to answer them for you. This is Rick Nielsen. I will see you at the next video.